being affected or whoever this is logging in today whichever part of the world uh, for this mention this is in Europe and uh, wherever you are you need to believe in God you need to trust God you need to ask God to take that out you need to mm. sit down and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to search uh, your heart and get it out of your system to find the closure or uh, maybe there's a lot of open um, issues in your life that you haven't really closed it up maybe you're angry with something or maybe you're just frustrated and you're tired and you you know no one is helping you and all those things are going through your mind mm. and and that's why you're going into a state of depression and if you're going through that, we will have the prayers right yes. towards the end, but we will be reading you the issues today. And the second, um, it says, we are a family of four. My husband passed away April this year, and oh yeah, uh, this is just yeah, during COVID. Yeah. And I'm left with my two boys, age 19 and 16. I'm starting to see behavioral changes in them, and not so good one, really. Latest one, bang, they both pick a fight in front of me, sadly. Uh, this was during breakfast one Sunday morning. I was helpless and cried for them to stop it. I'm beginning to get worried about their future. Mm. Amen. How many more families out there? Uh, for her, she has just lost, you know, still mourning, still grieving. Uh, the responsibility that is to be shared between mother and father now becomes her own. And are having to fend for the two uh, sons with that age. And for those of you children that are actually having the time to listen to this uh, program as well, uh, love your parents. According to uh, the truth of his word, we need to honor our father and our mother. And if you're doing that, always remember, without them, you wouldn't be standing. Amen. Without them, you wouldn't be even here from the beginning. Because, you know, what, your mom gave birth to you. So our... You know, our allegiance is supposed to be for the family. But if you are going through the same as uh, uh, this great. particular lady uh, has just shared with us, and you cannot seem to uh, uh, control or cannot seem to uh, discipline your children, uh, they become so rebellious and they are not listening to you, or they even, you know, talking back to you, and they're doing things without even taking heed of your instructions. Uh, we believe that the power of God can work directly. We believe that there is hope in the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. We believe that He can do all those things. So for those, those of us who have families already and you have grown up children, uh, you have to change the way. Uh, don't just look at it the other way around or just the one-way traffic. Uh, look from it, you know, from the other side of being parents. Uh, try and uh, value their lives and acknowledge that they've grown. Uh, you know, they are no, no longer a small child that you can just speak down to them or treat them the way you want, them, uh, want to treat them. But acknowledge and value them. You value their thoughts. You value their contribution. Uh, so it's the two ways. And try and make amends. So try and come before God and ask God to lead you because he's going to give you that uh, uh, wisdom and the maturity and also the heart to be able to, you know, withstand everything that is happening around you. It can be part of their growing up. It can be part of the process that they need to go through. Uh, it can be part of the moments that God allow in their life for them to be, you know, to come uh, to a term within themselves, to say to themselves, okay, this is not the way to go about it. I need to love my parents and I need to go this way. So if you are one of those parents, the same story as this, the lady that we are reading today, uh, you will agree with us in prayer at the end of this uh, uh, session uh, for us to come in agreement in prayer. And under the third, it says, my wife uh, left us for four, four years and seven months now. This, we need her to return home. Um, this is a, a plea of a husband, you know, a plea of a husband uh, asking the wife who has been away from home for four years and seven months. Uh, there may be other um, husbands that have the same story for the woman living home and maybe the years is longer or maybe it's just last month or maybe just during this COVID uh, they can't handle things at home and they stand up and walk away with somebody else much easier. Uh, to them they're thinking okay you can look after your children I don't need any more responsibility so you look for the a person who is free so you can go and live that life or maybe you listen to me today and you're one of those